Good day, everyone. Enjoy viewing presentations and happy learning day. Great. Our topic today is Open Broadcaster Software. The task which given to me is about installation process and configuration before you use the application for recording, video lesson, and even in broadcasting. Well, my name is Marlon Diazis, our present school head of Busay Elementary School in the SDO Ligao City. Before we start, let me explain how you can talk to us during my session. If you have any questions during the presentation, write them to the chat box for sure this will be entertained with our team to enlighten those concerns which are not yet clear. This application released in 2012 and alternatively known as OBS Studio, Open Broadcaster Software is free. Open Source Screen Recording Software for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The software allows users to take screen recordings of the entire screen a specific window or a selected portion of the screen. OBS can also stream your display directly to the various streaming services, including Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer, by logging in with the username and password. The layout of your recorded or streamed content can customize to the use of elements, individual layers or switches on and off. Resize and move around the screen to create a more personalized layout for the content you are creating. For example, a webcam can move to the different corners of the screen or resize to allow different areas of the computer display for sharing and viewing it to the public. To give you an overview of OBS Studio features, we have the following intuitive audio mixer, multiple video sources filters, powerful configuration option, streamlined setting panel, multiple themes real-time audio video capturing and mixing. These beautiful features of OBS can learn as you stay tuned and follow the sequence step-by-step -step provided by our learning facilitators for this three-day national webinar. Another good thing about OBS is you can start multiplayer game. Either you can play live or assign it as homework. If you are a solo player, you can do the practice option, then you can start playing the game by clicking the answer below the questions given. Then you can reveal the answer by showing the correct one. With this, we can engage our learners especially in the motivation part or even the activity proper. Our learning and development objectives we have discuss and demonstrate the installation process of OBS, configure the minimum input capture, and making your presentation or recording your video. So please hold on and watch as you learn more about OBS. In installing the software, you will need this program to prepare your content such as audio, video, to activate your camera and microphone for live streaming and recording. OBS has the following system requirements compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. AMD FX series or Intel i5-2000 series processor, dual or 4-core preferable or higher DirectX 10 capable graphics card, at least for GB or RAM recommended but not necessary. The type of processor of a computer has not only affects its overall performance but it can also dictate the compatible programs for the system. A computer with 32-bit processor cannot have a 64-bit version of an operating system installed. It can only have a 32-bit version of an operating system installed. A computer with a 64-bit processor can have a 64-bit or 32-bit version of an operating system installed. However, with a 32-bit operating system, the 64-bit processor would not run at its full capability. On a computer with a 64-bit processor, you cannot run a 16-bit legacy program. Many 32-bit applications work with the 64-bit processor and operating system, but some other 32-bit applications may not function properly due to incompatible programs. I'm sharing this because if you keep on installing the application without knowing the requirements, some features of OBS would not function better. This time, we will have an actual installation of OBS. To start with, Double-click the File Explorer, look for this PC, right-click, select on Properties to view the information about the computer. Under System, we have the manufacturer, the model, processor, installed memory, and the system type. As you can see, we have the 64-bit operating system by 64-based processor. This will serve as the reference for compatible OBS application in this PC. So we will now close the system information and 
close the file explorer, go to browser, and then type the OBS Studio 64 bit, then click enter. Let us select the first option, the download OBS. Now you can see the download page of OBS Studio. So the three operating systems available here, we have the Windows, the Mac, and then the Linux. Under the download installer, we have only 32-bit installer. So we need to use the browser. We will look for the 64-bit installer. So let us try the 2020 latest version for Windows 10. Click on free download. Then, start download. Wait for a few moments until downloading process is done. Then, after that, you need to close the browser. Then, look for the download folder. Then, open the folder. Then, Double click the installer, then click on next, I agree next, then install. Wait until the installation process is over, and then click on the finish button. Before you open the application, what do you need to do is to close it first. You need to close that first for the setting of the graphics. Then go to the taskbar, go to notification icon, click on all settings, and then what you, need, what you need to do is to look for the display option, then go to graphics settings, click on browse, and then you need to look for the drive C, and go to program files. And then look for the OBS Studio folder. And then click on bin. Then click 64 bit. Then select OBS icon. Then hit add. Okay, so what you see now is the OBS Studio created in your graphic setting. So the graphic specification we have the power saving, the higher performance, and we have to choose the system default right now. Then click on To make the sounds of your audio something audible and pleasant to the ears of the listeners. In setting audio input capture, go to profile, set it new, type the file name, and then click OK. Under scene collection, select new, then go to file. After that, go over the settings and select audio tab. The most compatible settings for OBS, choose a 44.1 kHz sample rate. Do the stereo for the channels. Then the key point, disable every single devices in OBS. Disable all of them. This is to avoid automatically add enable devices. I recommend adding manually the devices so that the sound is good as possible and the full control of the devices is highly important. Hit apply and click OK. 
Going back to the main panel under Sources section, click on the plus sign here and manually add the audio input capture. Create on New, then click OK. If no other sources of microphone, just leave it by default, then hit OK. The device right now, pop up under Mixer section, then apply significant adjustment for volume effectiveness. This setting is actually the broadcaster standard, so the sound is amazing, not boxing the output from the default settings. Click on the setting icon, then select filters. I'm going to use the usual settings that I am doing when I'm recording my videos. I will just add four elements. First, I will add the noise suppression and click OK. I will use the default setting. This is to eliminate all the background noise. Next is the compressor and click OK. The same with the noise suppression, no changes made to make the sound more even and smooth and the volume level is nice and tight. And then the gain and click OK. I will adjust it from 0 dB to 3 dB. Up and down of loudness without breaking the ears of the listeners. The last is Hit OK. And removing the green background, just adjust the equalizer available in this portion. Adjust the similarity by dragging the cursor and of course the smoothness to refine the appearance. And also the gamma, just adjust the equalizer to make it more presentable. And as you can see, the image of the video capture is already transparent 
and the background now is the presentation of the lesson. So that's how easy to remove the green background using the chroma key. With this, the teacher can present the lesson as if he or she is teaching in the normal classroom. This is the beauty of this application. Aside from it is for free, this application is very versatile in nature and an effective tool in making video lessons. I do hope that you learned something in my session. Again, this is Marlon Diazis from SD Oligao City. Thank you for watching.